Hi, this is a quick video just to show you how easy it is to test the, uh, the hardness of your water and also other components in there, uh, chlorine, bromine and the pH of your water if you want to do those as well. Um, probably the easiest thing, the easiest way to do it is by using um, a test strip uh, that you get in bottles like this. All you do is take a strip out Take a sample of the water that you want to test and then dip the strip into the water for about five seconds. Take it out, shake it and then all that we're going to do then is compare the colour change on the strip with the, with the different um, colours on the on the side of the bottle here and the total hardness of the water here is uh, about 120 uh, ppm which is fairly low and just shows that in this area the hardness is fairly fairly low and the pH of the water in this area is about 7.6 which is about right just above neutral. So just by doing that simple test strip you can easily find out the hardness of the water and the pH just by doing a simple two minute test like that. So that's one way to do it. The, the other way is to use uh, drops using something like this. Um, it's a bit more accurate doing it this way using the drops. Um, and all that we would do is take a sample of the water and get it to the right level. There's always instructions with these test kits, so don't worry about doing it correctly. If you just read the instructions, it should tell you exactly what to do. And for this one, all that we do is add the drops from this to the sample. One drop at a time. Put one in. And then give it a shake and you can don't know if you can see there but it's actually slightly green greenish color and what we're looking for is the, the color to go uh, pink or slightly red um, depending on the number of drops that that we add if it's a low hardness water it won't take many drops the more the more hard that the water is, the more it will take. So that was two. That's three. And that's just slightly going pink there now. I don't know if you, if you can tell. Um, but, uh, there's a slight pink tinge to it. We'll do one more. And that there now that's that's gone a pinky orangey colour. So that took four drops. So that's that's a fairly low hardness water from this tap here. But I've done it where I've I've seen maybe 25 or even 30 drops to get the colour change from green to pink. So it really does depend on the type of water that you're testing. But if you live in a hard water area, you're probably gonna get at least about 20 drops, I would have thought. So Hope that's helped you um, learn some of the easy ways to test the hardness of the, of the water. And uh, as I say, also you can do the pH. Uh, you can use the you can do the uh, the chlorine um, content in there as well using uh, containers like that. So uh, that's it from me. Hope that's helped. Bye for now.